Welcome to part 7 of Freemason School. So far we've ascertained that the uh, Freemasons are actually using nothing more difficult than the uh, Greek uh, letters of the Greek alphabet in order to make their uh, hand signals, leg signals and logos etc to communicate with one another. So that is now no longer a secret. Now let's take a closer look um, at the Greek language because there's something else very interesting in the Greek alphabet which I'd like to show you and that is that the Greek alphabet actually has six, yes that's right there's that number again, uh, six letters which make a snake noise. So we will start with um, the letter theta for instance, yeah, okay. So you say theta but it's pronounced like a snake. Then we have the letter uh, C which is pronounced uh, C as in Xenia, so another snake noise. Then we have the sigma, which is pronounced as an S, as in Stavros. So, that's number three. Then we have this one here, the sort of X looking one, which uh, is called a Chi, but it's, it's not pronounced Chi in Greek, but never mind. Okay, we'll call it a Chi. Um, and it's pronounced as a or a like that, you know, so it's sort of like uh, um, as in he. So that's it. So that's another snake noise. Uh, so wherever you see these X's, like three X's, you know it's saying shh. It's a whole uh, snake noise. Then we have uh, the letter C, which is uh, pronounced as in Saras, which means fisherman, for instance. But it's, pro it's, it's uh, pronounced ps Okay, so that's another snake noise. And then finally, we have this one here, uh, which is phi, as in F. Another snake noise. So that's six letters. That's the devil's number. All this writing and stuff. It's uh, it's all Nephilim inventions by the looks of things. And, and also, if you look at this, you'll see that, for instance, Poseidon. It's uh, you know it's the it's the snake sound, and he holds the trident, which is this here, which is the Greek letter C. So he's actually holding a Greek letter up, but you're seeing a trident because it's a matter of relevance for you to actually understand this. These people worship uh, Nephilim, uh, Nephilim tears. This is what the Masons do. Uh, so, for instance, the theta. This is the same as stop signs and no entry signs. And the letter phi is the same as on underground stations and on many products. Um, and of course, like the Masonic M here, uh, you know, it's, it's a sigma turned on its side. If you look at the Masonic aprons, for instance, you, you, you see they've got the, what you see is an M. But if you tip it 90 degrees, uh, which is one of the things that they do, they just turn things at different angles or perspective views. It becomes a sigma, which is a s. So wherever you're seeing uh, M, for instance, in the high street, uh, you're not seeing an M you're actually seeing another snake noise hidden in plain sight just to mock you and to worship the devil. The same applies with the letter W seen here inside what looks like a cobra's hood. Turn it 90 degrees and it's a sigma. Same again with the X and also with the phi and the C. All of them, six snake sounds. Uh, just one more thing by the way, I just remembered. Um, I ended up in a courtroom one day and, uh, and I remember uh, a very, um, how shall I put this, cold woman um, who I questioned. And uh, she, well, let's, let's be frank, I just caught her and someone else in the courtroom signalling to each other and I made an issue of it. But uh, unfortunately, the court didn't make an issue of it. And I asked her plainly why she was she and, the, and this other man in, in the courtroom were signaling to each other and, and she and she said she she didn't know anything about it and i asked her if she knew anything about freemason sign language and she said it's all greek to me well i'd like to just publicly um thank that woman now for uh, helping break the freemasons code because she just had to brag um it's not a coincidence by the way what you need to look out for um, in your everyday life um, are these letters here uh, these shapes okay built um, into 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 buildings and uh, products etc labels you na you name it um, just look for these but don't look for them 
in the same way that you can see them with your eyes. Look for them from the perspective of someone in the know. That is, that the shape will be turned at 90 degrees, 180 degrees and so on. So it's a skewed perspective for the most part, but something like um, the letter C, which is plain and obvious in your sight, uh, the pitchfork in Poseidon's hand, it's a snake noise. Psst. So be aware there are many variations, such as this, which is a multiple PC. So basically what we're dealing with um, are people are giving themselves away with all, all of these hand signs and sig sig signals and, uh, and shapes in buildings, etc. And the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, it says that the whore uh, is clamorous. She's foolish and clamorous and she destroys her own ho her house with her own fingers. And that's exactly what these people are doing destroying their own house with their fingers, just like God said, because that was the first clue um, in what it was that they were really up to. And now that we know that they're communicating uh, in basic Greek, you too can learn some basic Greek. You too can view these um, particular letters, etc., from a perspective, knowledgeable point of view, knowing that they are turned by degrees, 90 degrees, for instance, you know, that becomes an M. So you see an M, hold on a minute, turn it, an angle, turn it at an angle, take another look at it, compare it with the um, Greek, uh, Greek alphabet, do the same thing with upper and lower case Greek alphabet. And uh, let's get to the bottom of this because um, in my personal opinion, um, and I think that I'm right, we have been ruled over by the biggest criminals that have ever walked on the face of this earth for a very long time. And it's now time that we bring them out into the open.